Story Lady's Magic Book today. I'm so happy you were able to join us. What for me? Oh, Hi, course. Story Lady! Hi, Bunny. How are you today? Oh, simply amazing. I've had the most amazing morning. Really? What happened yeah. this morning? Okay, well, this morning I saw a monkey. A monkey? Yeah, I saw a monkey. And he's wearing this funny little thing on his head. I don't know what it was. Uh, was it a pancake? It looked kind of like a pancake, but without syrup, because I've had that happen before. You know, syrup really sticks in the No, it's morning. It wasn't a pancake. Maybe it was an omelet. Omelet. Yeah, an omelet. Or no, because, you know, I, I have omelets. I have, like, honey roasted omelets and barbecue omelets. Honey. Sign, no, sign? no, because signs have writing on it. No, 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 I mean a This sign. was more like some kind of little hat. A little hat? See, that's what I'm saying. It was a sign about the story that we have today, because the really? story we have today is about hats. And hats. Monkeys. monkeys and hats. Monkeys and hats. Monkeys and hats. Today our story is called Caps for Sale. Caps for Sale? <laughs> no, you mean not. like at the pet store? Because I was over there and they had no, a no, cat. No, he was looking at me kind of funny. Monkey. <laughs> I'm playing pretend. I know. I like to play pretend too. Okay, so ready? today our story is called Caps for Sale. Caps for Sale, like the yes. little thing on the head. Oh, mm -hmm. that's probably what I was seeing. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. We're going to jump into the magic book. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Ah! Ah! For sale. Once upon a time there was a peddler who sold caps, but he wasn't like any ordinary peddler that carried his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very, very top a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, A cap's for sale, a cap's for sale, a fifty cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, A cap's for sale, a cap's for sale, a fifty cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. Ah, that's a nicer place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree, and he leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put his hand up to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, and the red caps at the very top. They were all there, so we went to sleep. He slept for a long time. <sighs> and when he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. And all he felt was his own checked cap. <sighs> he looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree, and what do you think he saw? <laughs> on every branch sat a monkey, and on every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. <laughs> the peddler looked at the monkeys. And the monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't even know what to do. 
finally, he spoke to them. Are you monkeys, are you? He said, shaking a finger at them. Are you giving me back in my caps? <laughs> but the monkeys only looked down at him and shook their fingers at him, and they said, da 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 This made the peddler angry, and he shook both hands at them and said, Are you monkeys, are you? Are you giving me back in my caps? But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, da 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 Now he felt quite angry. He stomped his foot and he said, Are oh, you monkeys, are you? You better give me back of my caps. But the monkeys only stomped their feet back at him and they said, da 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 By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stomped both of his feet and he shouted, Are oh, you monkeys, are you? You must have given me back of my caps. But the monkeys only stomped both their feet back at him, and they said, da 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 At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and he threw it on the ground, and he began to walk away. But then... <laughs> Each monkey pulled off his cap, and all of the gray caps, and all of the brown caps, and all of the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down off the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray cap, then the brown caps then the blue caps, and then the red caps at the very, very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to the town calling, A cap's for sale! A cap's for sale! A fifty cents a cap! The end. Wow! Did you have fun? That was your best story ever! I know, those monkeys were so silly, they kept copying everything he did. Yeah, and you were like in a tree, and wait a minute, if they were copying everything he did, he was never in a tree. No, he wasn't in the tree, they were in the tree, yeah. and he was getting so mad at them, and they yeah. kept going, da 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 but they gave him his hats back, and that was really nice of them. That was very nice of them, and I sure hope that he sold all the caps. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if the monkeys came back and bought them later. Maybe you know, they did, and maybe they got to all be great friends, and they all went out to lunch. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. It, maybe, you know, they could give him a monkey wrench or something. <laughs> that sounds like lots of fun. Yeah. Maybe a monkey wrench for a, a whole new career. Because, you know, he's going to be out of caps, so he's going to have to start a new vocation. Yeah. But, Wait, maybe he could come here and tell stories with you. Well, maybe, but that's your job, monkey. And I don't want to tell stories with anybody but you. How about a, a bunny cat? Okay. Okay, ready? Ah, I'm pretending to be a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Okay, stop holding the camera now. Okay, okay. <laughs>